Histoplasmosis is a, a fungus that's found in the soil in the Midwest, and it can get into your body by breathing it. Uh, and then once inside your body, it can affect your eyes by depositing in certain parts of your eyes. Oftentimes it's carried by birds, and uh, we're unaware that, that we've been exposed to it until later in life. Sometimes there are changes in the eye that indicate the exposure. Patients who are exposed to histoplasmosis can get a um, characteristic pattern of scarring in the eye. So most retina specialists, when they look at an eye that's been affected, can see this characteristic pattern of scarring and determine that somebody has been exposed to histoplasmosis. Sometimes these areas of scarring or areas without scarring develop new bad blood vessels that grow through and leak and bleed in the eye. This leakage and bleeding can lead to a significant loss of vision, and if caught early and treated, then we can typically preserve vision and in some patients improve vision. With careful and conscientious anti-VEGF treatment, patients with ocular histoplasmosis can maintain their vision, uh, very good vision, um, and continue to do the things they like to do. Otherwise, ocular histoplasmosis often uh, is something that's quiet within the eye and that a patient might not even know they have. Uh, and just requires regular monitoring.